why these goals happen. I absolutely was. I knew you were going to win. I totally knew you were going to win. I've never ran so long so far. I knew you were going to you win. Know, Sarah and I were talking and you can ask my wife. I said, Dean's going to win. <laughs> <laughs> After running ultra marathons for a couple years, I figured why not step up and toe the line of my dream race. I remember first hearing about the Canadian death race when I was in grade six. Fast forward 12 years and I was at the start line. marathons your crew is one of the most important parts. Yeah you can train and get yourself ready and have everything prepared but if you don't have a good crew there on race day helping you with the quick little things and getting you ready to go out again you're a recipe for disaster. So leg three was an aggressive push towards catching the top guys. At that point I was sitting in third place and hungry to catch the leaders. race was something that I hadn't expected them doing. It was a totally new experience to me. transition after leg four was a beautiful sight. I was so over that downhill. After being out there for 10 hours, my body was pretty done with racing. That being said, I knew I had to push and could not let off the throttle until that finish. Heading out on leg five, I knew it was now that I needed to seriously race. body is that physically broke down, if your mind slips for two seconds, you're done. 
Mentally, you have to stay fueled and fired up. Running with the motivation that there's two other guys out there who want to beat you was a good boost to keep you moving. have a goal and you put everything towards that goal and try your absolute hardest you will achieve that goal it won't be easy sometimes it won't be fun but if you're truly passionate about something and put in the time and effort you can be successful in reaching that goal